Hey guys, this is Ellie with your weekly reading, 28th of August 2017. Uh, happy birthday to my son tomorrow. He'll be 21, 21 year old. Woohoo! Uh, now, this is your weekly general reading. Uh, if you would like something more specific, watch your monthly sun, moon, and rising. If you want a private reading with me, use the link below. If you want your whole year forecast, $4.99, Vimeo on demand, use the link below. So, we're having an eclipse last week and this week there's more karma, more information, more winning, more positivity coming out. At work you have the strength card. Now this is fire signs, specifically Leo, but you know in a general reading this is fire signs. There's an element of um, uh, contracts and deadly serious agreements with leaders and with the management to do with your work, your school, your study, your finances. Uh, there's karma involved. This is meeting up to uh, face your fears, face your challenges. This is challenging behavior. This is also backing the new leader. If there has been a buyout or sellout, you know, change an abrupt change in leadership and um, being there to help the new leader, uh, or perhaps if you're the leader, you'll have the other people's support there. This is about um, being on the top of your money game. This is about positive determination. Um, there's karma all over this and this is taming the uh, beast. So for some of you, this is a, you, you have two ways of going. There's uh, which beast do you f uh, feed? The uh, one that's motivated and wants to rule and, and you know wants to get to the top of their goal or the one here that's insecure and unsure of themselves. You know, that's, that's, you know, ending the childhood um you know, Leo is the child, the child, the the childhood thoughts, the habits from childhood, uh, as well. So this is the eighth house, which is other people's resources, taxes, deadly serious agreements, uh, sponsorship from other people as well. But to do with uh, leadership, there's something this week to do with that um, as well. You also could run into uh, this is a major kind of cards. So this is a major person uh, opportunity crossroads decision this week. Something major, someone major, um, and it's more fate blows them in. So out of the blue running into this person, you weren't expecting this conversation, wasn't expecting this visit, wasn't expecting this leadership something, whatever it is, this call in front of the leader, this call in front of the headmaster, professor, the bank. Um, but it's about karma and it's about a new spring in your step, new energy, new role uh, as well. Now at home you have the five, the five of wands. Again, this is fire signs. This is your children and or dating where there's some sort of conflict. If you're trying to plan anything this week you're just going to get roadblock after roadblock after roadblock this you know arguments and dissension in the ranks to do with children and with dating this week around the family home arguing not being on the same um, page um, missing uh, messages missing phone calls getting the wrong end of the stick blowouts and now if you're dating this could be uh, you arguing over the children or arguing specifically over exes and children or you know some kind of demand there uh, this is also about standstills to do with money and not quite sure um, so this could be why there's a blow up this is it could be about loans or being repaid by a loan to do with children children to do with dating. Um, there is an element of power struggles in the home with the fire sign, um, especially, you know, children or dating. Um, resistant, defensive, justifying behavior around the home, respect and um, it, it's almost like volatile, unpredictable, comes out of nowhere, uh, blow up um, about the kids, with the kids, with the dating. Uh, now, if you have none of those things around your home, then this is you're trying to plan something. You're trying to get something going. Um, you know, if you are dating, if you're trying to see someone, if you're trying to get together with siblings um, and or, or whoever you're trying to get together with or whatever you're trying to plan. And there's just, you know, nonstop roadblocks, you know, missing people in the middle of the night, you know, ships passing in the middle of the night. You know, there, there's an element of, of wanting this project to go forward, wanting this to, the plans to be set uh, and just one foot forward, two steps back. Someone's not answering their phone. You know, this person's overbooked so they've cancelled at the last minute the, the event. Um, you know, the, the food that you, the caterer, um, you know, has, has made a mistake. You know, Mercury retrograde right through to the 19th of September. So checking those details. Now with your health, you've got the two, the two of pentacles. The two is the throat, ears, lower lip, jaw, uh, jaw base of brain and cervical spine and neck. And this is de uh, deciding which way you're going to go. Now, you do have great news coming, uh, and then you'll get news after that of a follow-on appointment or follow-on treatment 
uh, that you'll hear about now that won't be for the future. Now, this could be overseas. This is, I'm deciding, do I want to do it here or do I want to do it overseas? Or do I want to go with this person? Do I want to go with this person? Do I want this treatment? Do I want that? You're balancing something um, and balancing the price, bal balancing the practicalities about that. You are, about those areas, you know. Um, and there's, there's come around this as well. There's... Uh, but there is good news coming in very shortly. So the great results, good news, lucky appointment, you know. Um, so maybe you'll get a phone call saying, you know, oh, well, we didn't think we were going to have an appointment for six weeks, but someone's cancelled and you've got that. And then after that, you get another piece of information, good news. Uh, your ship's coming in and you'll hear about that now, about the future. So whatever you're deciding, you're definitely deciding between one or the other. You're deciding which way you're going to go. Now at uh, Love, you do have the Four of Pentacles. And this is with a uh, Capricorn, Taurus or a Virgo. This is about uh, status and title versus moral and ethics. Uh, you know, who um, that element of setting someone uh, free and if it's meant to be they'll come back the element of um, has my criteria in love changed was I more aesthetically uh, motivated you know for that status or that title what has happened um, you know what is bringing this up that I would think about money versus heart or heart over uh, money you know the the status and the title doesn't matter to me anymore um, so that energy is coming up also this is about your um, miser card about you know saving up money um, for the home because this is a home card uh, for you and your love uh, or that you for some of you this is about you know not being open to love so this card is saying you know where does that come from your roots your heritage your fourth house you know what you learn your relationship from your childhood from your parents um, something this week makes you reflect on that about you know being open to um, the practicalities of uh, love being um, being open to now uh, I want to say that there could be a cancer involved in this specifically in that scenario as well. And um, this is about um, marrying for love over title or status. This is about um, great foundation. So, you, you know, your feet are, you know, are solidly on the ground and the idea to do with this love relationship. Your heart is, is covered and solid and your mind's all set. You, you know what you want. You've got that solid foundation and that's what you want. Um, so, some of you could be putting money in, uh, saving money together to buy a house, to move in together for the practicalities of living and creating family together. Others could be, you know, this week there's a split, set them free and see what happens. Or others, this is about, you know what, oh, my idea in love has got nothing to do with what it looks like anymore. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to marry someone because they look really great or they have a really good title or really good status because I've learnt my lesson from that. Uh, and also about past relationships to do with your parents and your past. Um, something about that for some of you is coming up this week about where I'm, I'm going to change that element um, in my future uh, dating. So your drawing virtue messages from the angels card is... Here you got a lot of cards. Fiona's saying, now that you've asked the angels for help, lift your head up and see the opportunities in front of you. You know, um, you've asked for help. Take that hand when it's given out. You know, it's like that that story, you know, Jesus will save me and you're stranded on a, on a, um, on a pilot in the middle of the ocean and a boat comes past and says, can I help you? No, no, Jesus will save me. And another boat comes along, you know, can I help you? No, no, Jesus will save me. And another one comes along, no, no, I'm good. Jesus will save me. And then you're, you know, out there forsaken, look up at this guy and say, Jesus, why didn't you help me? And he says, I sent you three boats. You know, take the opportunity. You've asked the angels for help. Take what's offered to you. Don't keep your head down. Lift your head up. Take what's being offered to you, that divine uh, inter uh, intervention to help you move forward. You've got Rosetta card there again, which is about your children. Like I said, there could be arguments about dating or children this week. Your children acting out, your children um, fighting amongst themselves. Somebody in, in a child 
child sense needs uh, extra love this week. If you don't have children, you work with children, then it's an important conversation this week. And if you don't have any of those, then it's about you remembering your childhood, you being naive, your enthusiasm, your getting back to childhood loves. Children speak in so much honesty and so much imagination and they just go out and, you know, they run full forward. They enjoy everything. They don't second guess themselves. That's the element. This card here, almost the same. It's about compassion for yourself and for others. For some of you, you will be spending money on your pets this week. For some of you, you will be getting a pet this week. But for others, this is about the way to move forward is compassion for yourself and for others. And Archangel Raphael is saying um, that, you know, any physical challenge this week will be met. Uh, so whatever you decide, you know, with that uh, the two of pentacles, you will make the right choice. So be kind to you and those you love, and I shall see you next week.